Good day everyone, this is Lansky in my Android Studio channel. Today I am, I am gonna uh, show you in a video how to create your AdMap app and obtain the AdMap ID in order for you to use that AdMap ID for the app that you have created in AdMap to put in your Android Studio app so that uh, your app will generate uh, banner ads when it's already published on the Play Store so that you start earning from uh, advertisements or ads that shows in your app when your users of uh, the users of your app uses or loads your app in their Android phone so let's start first uh, load your browser and type apps dot com so now it goes to your uh, account and you now log in so you now input your uh, password into your uh, uh, admap admap account so uh, your Google password or your Google email that you have uh, used to create your AdMap account or your Google account is the same login that you shall be using. So, we shall now be logging in. Uh, your AdMap page. So, you can either click monetize new app or click monetize here you can go to this tab if you have already obtained uh, uh, created or, or created your app you can choose uh, one of the apps here for example this one and you can uh, see that you have your Uh, you have your uh, AdMob ID here. So, for example, let's uh, you can see the ad format here. So it's banner. So you can click here to edit, and you can obtain the AdMob ID here. So that's it. Or and ha you have your AdMob unit name here. I don't know how to actually how to use this one. Maybe you can program the app in android studio to instead use the add unit name but i haven't tried it so what you should be obtaining is this your admob unit id so let's go back uh you can also uh click monetize new app here or uh, or you can go here and you can click the same monetize new app for example uh let's create a new app click monetize new app so you have here search for your app if it's already on the app store uh, or select from apps you have added but what we shall be doing here is to add your app manually so for example you already have an app uh, you have already decided on the name of your app so you type it here So after you have type your app, you select the platform here. So you should be selecting Android because you're uh, going to be using Android Studio to create an app. So use Android here. For example, let's click this one. So, you should be uh, adding, uh, clicking this button here, or if you decide to cancel, you, it goes back to this uh, tab monetize. So, let's again click this monetize new app. Before you have, what we did is to click here. It's the same result if you 
uh, click it here monetize new app it goes back to the same menu or the same set of steps so you click add your app manually or for example you are creating a lyrics app uh, for example you create a uh, lyrics about an uh, an app called uh, about a song called this one so after that you select the platform and you create add app so now uh, it has already generated the app ID here so app has been added to add mob so I now have an app with this name and you have five choices here you have banner you have interstitial you have rewarded interstitial and you have native uh, this rewarded interstitial and native is a new addition to the choices before you only have two you have banner and in and interstitial so uh, uh, what you shall be doing now is to choose this one so our purpose here is to create a banner app uh, a banner for our app so you click here banner uh, so that's it uh, you have choices here I don't usually mess with the choices here so you are required to add a uh, unit name for example uh, bottom banner uh, you can type anything you want here so you can type for example uh, if you an example here is top banner on home so you can use uh, which if you put the banner at the bottom you could use bottom banner like that or you could actually name it whatever you want so just use bottom banner or anything that you want to name this banner so I usually put some other indicators like uh, the, uh, a keyword that uh, this bottom banner pertains to my app so uh, you could use the initials of your app here or any other indicator so after that you click save and you have now your add unit name here and your add unit ID here you shall be using this add unit ID uh, for Android studio for your uh, add map uh, unit id in your uh, android studio you should re be replacing the test add unit id there with this one but only do that up when you generate the apk file that you shall be uploading to the app store do not use this add unit id when you are testing your banner because you will be uh, creating invalid impressions and you may accidentally or you may also accidentally click on the ads and that's that would be considered by google as invalid click it may affect your account so don't ever do that only use this for the live version of your app that you uh, the apk file before you generate the apk file that you shall be using to upload to your uh, google developer account so your play store developer account so that's we are clear on that don't tell me that i didn't warn you so right now they have another option here which is optional which is to link your admab apps to firebase this is more for of the analytics part so i have i haven't been using this one yet so i usually skip uh, you can skip this one so you have your view setup instructions uh, you shall only be using this if you have not yet uh, 
uh, downloaded uh, you, shall, you shall not be using this tab because most of us is already using Ad Android Studio to program our apps or to code our apps so we have already done this part here so you have app ID so do not use this one it has a different format as you see here so use your add unit ID here this one is the same as this one above so uh, you are done now so in, in case you have uh, forgotten or have not uh, you shall not be using this immediately if you are still on development stage so just click done and you can always go back to your app under this monetize tab here you can scroll down to your app uh, for example you have here uh, actually it's still here but if it's not here you can click your app here and this will load and you can obtain the add, add unit id here or here you can get it again here so as you can see it's uh, fairly easy uh, for example you already have uh, your add map banner so let's load android studio in our previous example of the add map banner just uh, place it there so here let let's have the add map banner here uh, our previous demo so it's here so how do you get the strings that is html that xml for example it's not yet there just go to your resources under apps and then under values you have strings click strings and you have your resources here part of it is the banner add unit id and this is your test i uh add my banner id here you replace that with this one so just replace that with this one prior to your generation of the apk file for the live version uh, when you generate the apk file you of course you click build and generate signed apk this is for deployment purposes of your app do not forget to change this one to the add unit id here you have created at add mob prior to generation of the signed apk so it's quite clear now that's it thanks for watching my video